What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. So after we learn how to create an HVAC system, so this time around we're going to learn how to generate an HVAC uh, layout. Okay? So after you create an HVAC system, you add system components to it and use automatic layout tools to review the possible routing solutions. So, okay, so most of the time, automatic layout tools is used at the earlier stage of our design like for example uh, development design wherein you do not need to uh, show the complete model and then if you want to make it a little bit uh, quickly you can use the automatic layout tools okay so that is how we use that in our company so automatic layout tools provide multiple layout solutions such as uh, network, perimeter, and intersection. So you will be able to see that later on. So these layout solutions, which you can explore using the preview solution and then next solution options on the options bar. So I'm going to show you that uh, later on. So if you do not find the required set of connections, you can manually modify layout path uh, solutions. Okay? So, which is most of the time happens. So, after you generate the automatic layout, you can still modify it manually. Okay? So, a layout is a representation of the physical connection between the HVAC system components. So, for example, you create duct layouts to connect air system components. So, Revit provides tools to lay out duct work solutions automatically when components are added to HVAC system. All right, so let's get started. So as you can see here in this model, so there's already a layout being done in this model except for this area here. Okay, so let's try to generate layout in this area. Okay, so I'm going to uh, zoom in here. So this is where we are going to generate our layout. Okay, so let's get started. So let's say, for example, as a mechanical, engin uh, mechanical engineer or mechanical designer, so you need to lay out the ductwork for an air supply system. Okay, so to speed up the process for laying out the air system, so we are going to use the automatic layout routing tool and find the solution for laying out a duct system. So in addition, we also need to examine possible solutions and verify the settings for both the main segment and branches of the air system. And then after that, I'm going to show you how to size and inspect the air system. All right, so let's get started. So after we zoom in to this area here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click one of the air terminals. I'm going to click that. Okay, so once you click that, okay, so you just need to check out the modify air terminal step. So from the layout panel, you will now see here, generate layout. So it offers different layout solution for adding selected equipment and fixtures to HVAC and piping system. So that is the tool that uh, we will be using. Okay, so I'm going to select that generate layout. Just click that one. And then straight away, Revit will show you the default layout that it suggests. So as you can see here from the options bar, so there is the solution type. So we have here a network, so we have perimeter, and then we also have intersection. Okay, so what is this network? Okay, so as you can see network here. So network provides up to six solutions, each consisting of a main segment. The main segment is the blue one. The branch segment is the green one, okay? So each consisting of a main segment with branches at 90 degrees from the uh, main segment. So network is the default selection and is most likely to be used in most cases. Now, another solution type here. So by the way, you can click this next solution here and then the preview solution button, okay? If you want to see the other five or the other four, solution that it suggests okay so you can click that okay now the other option here or other solution type is perimeter so the perimeter provides five solution that wrap the main segment 
around the perimeter of the component. So as you can see, it's around the perimeter of the component. So I don't like this layout. Okay. Now the other solution type here is intersection. Okay, the intersection provides up to eight solutions, each consisting of a main segment routed over the connectors of the components. So each solution consists of branches, again the branches is the green, extending perpendicular from the main segment down to the components. Okay, so in my case here, I only have two uh, solutions here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to the network. And then I think one of five solutions is just fine to me. Now, there is another option here, which is settings. So if you click this one, so you can specify settings for main and branch ductworks using the duct conversion settings dialog box, which is this one. So for both main and branch ductworks, you can specify duct type just like that. You can click what is the duct type that you want to be used when you generate the layout. And then you can also specify the offset values from the finished floor. So for the branch ductwork, so you can also specify the flex duct type and the maximum flex duct length value. So you reach these default values from the main and branch definitions in the mechanical settings dialog box. So if you remember, we have a discussion on how to set up our project. We uh, explore the mechanical settings and then the electrical settings. So these settings that we have here, you can modify this to the mechanical settings dialog box. Okay, so just a review. So in case you already uh, forget that one. Anyway, so I'm going to use here um, one of five. So this is the one that I would like to use. And then after that, again, if you want to modify the settings, just click that. So the main main dock that I will be creating is this type here. And then the offset is 10 feet. And then the branch is this. Offset is this. Flex dock type. And then the maximum flex dock length. Okay. Now I'm going to cancel this one. The settings is all good. Uh, all good for me. And then after that, I'm now going to select uh, finish layout. Just like that. It's very quick. Finish layout. And there you go. All right. So you get this warning here. It says that this element has an open connection. This may not be an error, but for flow calculation to work correctly, all connections should be sealed with an end cup. So you can put an end cup. To this uh, portion here so you can click that and then you can uh, cap open ends okay just like that and then just like what I've said if the routing solution or if the uh, layout that you just created is not enough you can actually do modification to this one which is the next topic that we are going to discuss after this okay just for now we have learned how to generate our uh, layout. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to automatically duck size your layout. Okay, so to do that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover my pointer to the duck, and then I'm going to press tab and then tab again. So as you can see, it now highlights the duck network. Okay. And then I'm going to click that. So once you click, you will now have an option here. So from the analysis panel, so there's an option here, uh, duct or pipe sizing. Okay, so this is how you automatically uh, letting Revit do the sizing for your, uh, for your duct. Okay, so I'm going to select the duct piping system. Just click that one, and then it will now open the duct sizing dialog box. So you can select a dynamic sizing method for the duct work of the air systems in a project. So from here, you can select the sizing method, friction, velocity, equal friction, static regain. Okay, so you can select the sizing method to be set along with any constraints 
that uh, may need to be considered. Okay, so of course, since you are the designer, since you are the engineer, you should know this uh, uh, terminologies, the values, the constraints that you need to do whenever you dock your, uh, whenever you size your dock. So like for example, so there's a uh, option here if you only want, let's say friction only, friction and or friction or, okay? So when you say only, okay, so sizes docks according to the parameters for the selected uh, method. Okay, like for example, friction only or uh, velocity only. Okay, then the other one here is end. So it sizes docks to meet the parameters that you specify for both, for example, for uh, friction and velocity. Okay, the other one here is or. So or, it sizes the docks or pipe according to the least restrictive of either friction or velocity parameters. Okay, so the, these are just some of the options there. And then you can also specify here the constraints. Okay, and then you can restrict the height and then you can also restrict the width with a specified value. Now, so what we are going to do here is, uh, let me just cancel this. All right, so let me just quickly show you again. So you hover your pointer, press tab, tab again. Once it highlights, you click, and then you select the pipe sizing. So you click that one. So I'm going to use here friction, and then I'll just use the default settings that I have here. So I'm going to use friction only. Okay, and then now for the restriction, so I'm going to restrict the height to 14 inches. Okay. So larger of connector and calculated, so restrict height 14 inches. And then I'm just going to uh, select here OK. And then Revit will now help you to properly size your uh, duck. There you go. Okay. And then you just click outside. Okay. And then there is this another, to another tool that you can use is that you can actually use the system inspector. Okay, so you can use the system inspector. Again, uh, same procedure. So for the system inspector, so you just hover your pointer, press tab, tab again, tab, and then click. And then there is the system inspector. Okay, so system inspector. So I'm going to select that. Okay, so the system inspector is used to inspect an air system for critical flow path of branches. So main segments or entire systems. So the system inspector can identify the areas of an air system with the highest pressure loss, allowing you to modify the design as required for maximum economy and efficiency. So as you can see, there's the tool here, inspect. So as you hover your pointer, it will give you an idea that this portion here, there's a pressure loss of 0 0.05 inch WG. And then here, there's no pressure loss. There's no pressure loss here. See? That's how good is this tool. Okay? So it will really tell you identify the areas of an air system with the highest pressure loss. Okay? So now, once you're done inspecting it, of course, you need to take down this one. You take note of this. Uh, let the engineer know it so that because they need to consider this one in their design. Okay? So once you finish inspecting, just select finish. And there you go. Okay? Right? So that's how you generate your dock layout. Automatic uh, generation. Okay? So in our next video, what we are going to learn is we are going to uh create and modify our ductwork okay so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day